three, four, and five red lights. We're holding. We're holding. And away we go. Off on the Russian Grand Prix. Madwell Gamer looks to have a pretty good start. Bradley just tucking up right behind him. But the guy to look for really is going to be Acti, who's going to be in the prime position, fighting. He's going to be on these top three drivers right here. Yeah, good launch actually so far. Ducky Fox is actually getting three positions. But we can see it's Leonard putting but a under bit of pressure attack on. by Glenn. Oh, there Glenn it is. Glenn does get spun around, who does slam into Guan Sai, the FIA, for sure to see some further action there. But commenting on the rest of the race, hopefully Guan Sander can, Guan Sander and Glenn can recover from that accident. Yeah, Friar is kind of going. This is fantastic. No DRS is enabled there on board of Elias. How's this looking for you there? Are you, are you as, as a driver shark? Is this great racing? This Rising. is pretty good. Though that Bradley also is pulling away from Acti at just the same rate. Uh, it kind of is for these top four drivers pulling away at about a very similar rate. But Dougie Falcons does have some pressure. Yeah, when you're Dougie Falcons right now, you're just waiting for this lap to finish so you can get DRS. Next thing you know, you're going to be blasting past Acti, and Acti is going to start moving backwards. Uh, on this track, you need to make quick drivers. So, Dougie Falcons has done a great job right here just to overtake Acti to make sure he can start progressing forward. It looks like Acti was holding up a lot of drivers, and you can see a lot of drivers now attacking Acti. He always was pushing more or had more laps on those tires than others. Uh, could that be the de facto case? Most likely not. But... It does prove to, uh, that Dougie fouled up by him right now. Oh, side-by-side -side battle, but Eddie has gone around the background. The Ferrari jobs are switching back that one. He looks like he was battling it out there with Glenn, and now he's in big trouble. Oh, he's going to get on the like, escape road. And that's the P3. Drop. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're enjoying Power F1. Yeah, yeah Lennart actually. is only going to be two tenths behind, while yeah. Narasai is only four tenths. Lennart might, could, uh, might have a great run. Getting that extra time on a fresher rubber is going to pay dividends. Uh, how long these tires can go, you're looking about 10 to 12, especially if you can really stretch them, 14. But a good yeah, optimum. These time. drivers are going to try to use everything that they have. He's asking me to keep that ERS meter up. No, my friend, I'm not going to do that. I know what you're up to. Can't give <laughs> you the details of how much Absolutely they're cruising is. up the road. They're now six or so seconds up the road from these guys. Yeah, and Madwell Gamer now pulling up 3.7 seconds ahead of Bradley. That is... Get all the juicy information. It's not going to happen. We, lost Ooh, we do have a retirement. It uh, looks to be in the pit box. Williams is retiring their driver. Here they all come crawling into the pit lanes. And here they go, all into the pits. Madwell Gamer, Bradley, Dougie, Acti. Yeah, the, here we go. All of the drivers now into the pits. Here's the calendar. Get to see some fun shots of that new safety car getting to drive around the track. I love it. I want it. As it looks like Ellis is going off. Ooh, that's the McLaren driver. Sorry, the, the Williams driver. And he's had a bit of a spinneroo onto the safety car. That's a little bit unfortunate. Let's get out ahead of the McLaren driver. Of course. These tires, as good in condition they might be, it's getting I'm curious to see how he's gonna, you know, take advantage of now that he is gonna be on the now alternate strategy compared to everyone else. Everyone else Long will have to run from there all the way into turn one. And you see he's gonna try to catch them off. It's actually Bradley's got a great run on to Madwill Gamer. Go on board with him. He is right behind those bullets. He's done it brilliantly, but does that have to give the place back? Does Bradley have to give it back? I'm not sure. He should have to give it back, and if he doesn't, then Bradley might have been just ahead. Let's focus on the car ahead. Focus on gaining as many points as you can with 14, well, no, 12 drivers left in this race, in this championship. Halfway through as well in the 2021 Power F1 Pro Series Championship. Heat of the dirty air and struggling to power through that. Very good, isn't it? To get an overtake is certainly a fun. A race start and get it done early. He d is sent, just full send. He's got ERS on with that DRS. Bradley is moving to the side, going to take the inside line. Is going to be able to keep it ahead? No, he. Oh, this is going to be. This is going to be. Very but if Bradley is smart, he's going to try to stay right behind him so he can get to that that timing and this line. This is for DRS, Madwell. Madwell Gamer. Yeah, for now, of course. Don't say never. Dougie's bringing it yeah. here. 
And he's bringing it to Bradley now. He knows this is his time to capitalize Even on the Some floor damage. But definitely looks like we're going for a wing change in the Red Bull box. But back to Dougie Falcons as Acti is getting right behind him. Leonard as well getting right behind Acti. This is a three-way battle. drivers. No, so I'm not... I don't actually have that information up because I'd have to show up to everybody on the, on the Twitch chat. Ah. This is going to be a big battle and a big moment for Leonard and Dougie. If Dougie can keep Leonard behind, that d that dirty air might keep him behind just long the enough. Done. Has he? Got to make does it run stick. a little wide. Oh, Glenn tries to pull the switch back on him. Does get better traction, so he's going to be able to pull a, a little bit more speed. But this is actually going to work in favor for Guan. Is if he can hit the timing line behind Glenn, that's going to play in his favor quite. Both those drivers on a podium here. Glenn now has the DRS. Now, where's he going to park that car? He's going to go last the late breakers on the inside here. Oh, is that he gonna is jump? a beautiful moose. That is textbook right there. I'm gonna deal with dirty air. I think he's going to play the reaction game and only defend when Leonard's attacking and only push when Leonard's pushing. And Leonard's actually also falling by in two. It looks to be the McLarens all of a sudden are hitting a little rut right now in the middle of the race. Very interesting. Void and Carlos there hanging in P8, P9 behind the Ferrari driver. Playing ERS, he's really trying to make this move stick. Unfortunately, it looks to be Acti just, just, just enough to stay ahead. But perfect for Edu as Edu is getting closer and closer and now right tucked up behind the two of them. Possibly even a move on Glenn too. He's Indeed. very much capable of doing it. He's, just, he's sitting back at the moment Leonard, watching Glenn. One tenth, oh. making a move on Dougie. He's going for it. Looks to be pretty clean, and he's cleanly ahead. Leonard is getting ahead, but Dougie getting a better exit out of turn one. The is he going to be able to inch just ahead? Oh, he does. That is that is great racing between the two drivers. Just enough room to stay competitive. They're attacking Glenn don't need to, but they do want to get these last laps in to maybe close in. To Norris Thaya to catch that top pack as Dougie Falcons and Leonard yet again battling at the front. The top four are on two warnings. Yeah, this could this could be very scary. If that driver, you know, to be named is that is the Mercedes driver with no wing making a quick run to the pits, and that is his attempt at possibly catching the top four. Over. You can join us in the commentary box real quick if you want to give us a bit of a relay information about that. We kind of go down to the pit wall as the Ferrari driver is boxing. He to use. He got a front wing change. Yes, he does. Expand out, especially that top four. Madwell Gamer, though, making the move on Guan Sander. The Alpha Tower of Madwell Gamer now into the top five. What a research. Overtaken by Madwell, but still in P6. It's Leonard's got a little wide Leonard, there. Leonard. Yeah. Leonard has gone wide. Could that be another warning for another driver getting one step closer to that end to his wing change? He is going to be far behind. Oh, oh Bradley. Bradley getting a drive-through penalty. That is not. That is not the move. That really isn't the move. Act. He's going to start. He's going to regret that after a little bit. When you're on those sauce, they are buzzing. One, two, three, four. Right. Hmm? And are they going to come out? He will. So he's going to jump. He's going to jump. Right ahead. He's going to be able to jump voids, voids. possibly. Yeah, no, he should get No, voids. but you are right. Right behind voids, yeah. though. That is, you know, one or two positions from the okay. reporting booth on the track. It looks to be that we had a wheel malfunction, and the car had then went into the wall. Luckily, Glenn is safe. As you mentioned, this is going to be, a, you know, a sprint. Talking about penalties, though, as well, as you mentioned, some of these drivers in the top four have warnings and not even these does manage to hold these guys off and get a podium. Hats off that to is, that man. That would be a brilliant. That driver. is to me driver of the day right yeah. there. If he can if he can hold all these soft runners behind him and he's going to just go for it. Actually getting a great run away from Leonard, but Dougie looking behind Dougie getting a great run. Only half a tenth. Said and done. Dougie is now ahead of Leonard. Now pulling in a three-second penalty. That was Madwell Gamer. Most likely going to be those track warnings. But now Dougie and Leonard Nara are stop. going to... He's going to try to seize this one as well. But he's also nursing penalties. Gwen Sander. Oh, it's going to be really tight here on the penultimate lap. Ooh, oh, second lap, second Nara last lap. Clarence are actually all battling right now. Checkerboarded in the leaderboard. As, ooh, looks to be Gwen Sander getting a little too close for comfort with 
Norris Dyer getting a little shaky. Yeah, trying to hold these guys off. 17 lap mediums. He's doing a great job. He's on the penultimate lap here, but Dougie's putting pressure. He can't hold him up he's, for so much time. He's made the move and ahead, but will actually be able to challenge back at the end turn one. No, Second time yeah. penalty. Oh. That shows this tire wear. Leonard is going to be seeing this and going to be crying and help as he's now going to be stuck in the dirty air behind Acti also being slowed down Davis is still, will, die, will break his oh, as we go through here lucky there's no collision here Ooh, look at that Gwon though Sander. Gwon Sander behind him <laughs> challenging the other Alpha Tauri Much this is one of those drivers who Yaris oh, oh there's a massive oh. accident and that's Acti oh no that's Acti that's Acti absolutely gone out that's the Ferrari driver it's now gone basically from first to plump last basically from first to plump last Oh, that's so unfortunate for him. Oh, and that is Mad Collision. Gamer and Guan Sander have been seeing rock the top of the timing. And the top of the leaderboards will now bank another 25 points to come across the line. P1. Yeah, he's won Congratulations it. Congratulations to that man. The Falcons won it. All around for the Falcon. The Seizing the opportunity, pouncing his way, clawing his way back up to the top yeah. of the timesheets. I mean, it was starting to get a little scary towards the that second stint before the safety car. A lot of drivers were...